Hello and welcome to Friday of Christian Aid Week and our final activity for the week. For those of you who don't know, my name is Vicar John and I'm the priest in charge in the parish of Sully and Wenver with St Mithens. It's wonderful for you to join us today and I hope that you have been joining us for the other activities and if not you can find them on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel you can find them and you can watch them and perhaps join in with them and don't forget part of what we're doing is also to raise money for Christian aid as well and you can do this directly by sending them a check in the post or by going online simply search for Christian aid It'll take you straight to their site and you can donate online to them as well. We usually do a door-to-door -door collection but because of the pandemic we are unable to do that this year. But we hold Christian Aid and the people involved with Christian Aid, both those who work for Christian Aid, the agencies that Christian Aid supports and also the people who need the help of Christian Aid. We hold these people in our thoughts and in our prayers at this time. Well, today Jude is going to take us on a scavenger hunt. So, I've got my box to put things in, I've got my magnifying glass to look out for things, and I'm now going to let Jude tell us what it is we're looking for. Good morning everyone for the last activity for Christian Aid Week and we're going to do a scavenger hunt. I'm sure some of you have already been playing this but there's a list on Facebook for, for the parents to ask your children to fetch certain things. Each thing they take 20 seconds, time them, make sure they don't get any longer and then make a little display of them. At the end if you take a picture of them, what they found, and send it to John for Facebook, we can see the things that they have found. Sure, there's bound to be something in the tree because we've been thinking about trees so much. What, what do I see? Oh, what do I see? Yes, very well hidden. But I've got the wooden spoon that was hidden in the tree. So I'm just going to put that in the box with the other things I found. I've so far found an apple, some crisps, and some chocolates. How are you getting along? Finding the uh, wooden spoon in the tree was quite difficult. It reminds me of the question. Why do you never find hippos hiding in trees? I don't know. Why do you never find hippos hiding in trees? Because they're really good at it. Oh. That's the last joke of the week. <laughs> Carry on with your looking. Let's see what we can find. Well, all these things, and the list will be on Facebook that you can find. Let's take off anything that doesn't include wood. We take off this building block, that's plastic, a metal fork, a shoe, skip, the favourite toy, and the felt tip. Everything else is made or partly made from something on or with wood and a tree. The table it's on is made from wood, the wooden spoon, apples, oranges, both grow on trees, cocoa beans to make chocolate is on trees, paper is made from trees, all these things, the wood floor where we are, the window frames, the doors, we have to be so thankful for all the trees we have. And in Wembo, we have lots of lovely trees. And I've seen some of you going on walks while we're in isolation at the moment, up in the trees. But some people don't have enough trees. We're trying to grow more trees in Britain, but in countries in Africa and Asia, they're trying to grow many more trees because we need them, not only for the atmosphere, but for the roots to hold the soil down so people can grow their crops. And if you go into the Woodland Trust website, 
three tools for, for schools .org.uk, they'll give you some more facts and figures about how we need trees and how we can look after them. So thank you for our last day and we'll be listening to John on Sunday to see what he thinks about Christian Aid Week this year. Thank you Jude for doing that for, for us. I uh, really enjoyed it. I'm enjoying eating my bomb bears, which are my crisps now. Do you want a bomb bear? Gentle? Oh, good boy. Well done. Don't tell me off. I know you shouldn't feed dogs but human food, but there we go. He likes a pom bear occasionally. <laughs> Even though we have not been able to do the door-to-door -door collection for Christian A to this year, we've still been able to remember them this week and to pray for them and to pray for the projects and the people that they support. Continue to remember Christian Aid, remembering all the good work that they do. Continue to pray for people affected by the pandemic, both those who are working in the front line and also those who have who've had the virus as well. Hold them in your prayers. And on Sunday, at our 10.30 service on Sunday morning, we'll be doing a special service for Christian Aid, bringing together some special prayers and some special thoughts for Christian Aid. This week, we've been thinking loosely about trees and the importance of trees and how we need trees in our society, how they help us, how we need them, in, on the earth, how we need them in order to live, to give oxygen, to clean the air, why they're so important. So, Mr. Dexter, we shall conclude by singing a song about trees. You shall go out with joy. You shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace and the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you there'll be shouts of joy and the trees of the field shall clap shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and you'll go out with joy you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace and the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you there'll be shouts of joy and the trees of the field shall clap shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and you'll go out with joy you shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace and the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you there'll be shouts of joy and the trees of the field shall clap shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and the trees of the field shall clap their hands and you'll go out.